On the 9th of February 1945, the German submarine U-864 was torpedoed by the British sub HMS Ventura. The German craft broke in half and sank. All 73 crew members on board lost their lives. The submarine is thought to have been carrying 67 tonnes of metallic mercury. A counterfilling will need to be created irrespective of which principal method is chosen to deal with the mercury contamination from U-864. Geotechnical experts have recommended that a counterfilling be established as soon as possible in order that the chosen method can be implemented once a final decision has been made. The fore part of the submarine rests on a slope where the seabed is very unstable. Work and movement on and around the wreck could therefore trigger landslides and further spread sediments contaminated with mercury. The average incline of the slope where the forepart sits is 15 degrees, which is a critical figure in respect of landslide risk. The counterfilling will be created in the area least contaminated by mercury and will not restrict the choice of a principal method for dealing with U-864. The process is subject to strict environmental criteria and the aim is to prevent any further spreading of mercury as a result of the operation. The monitoring programme will be one of the most rigorous ever carried out during a subsea operation in Norway. Contractors von Oort will be building the counterfilling. The Dutch company is a world leader in seabed intervention and has extensive experience of similar operations for the offshore industry in the North Sea. The counterfilling will be created in the deepest section of the wreck site. It will comprise around 100,000 tonnes of sand and rock. The clean mass will be carefully and accurately arranged using a specially built vessel. A layer of sand bedding will be laid before adding various layers of rock and grit to ensure the stability of the seabed. The completed counterfilling will be around 7 metres high and is designed to withstand erosion as a result of currents and major tremors such as earthquakes. The filling will need to be consolidated 12 to 18 months after completion. Work can then proceed on the wreck site without risk of landslides or the mass shifting. 